So the fourth uh, issue that we are going to talk about is uh, genetic engineering. What is genetic engineering? It is deliberately altering genes. It is uh, deliberately altering individual genes. Or you can say it is deliberately altering the structure and the position of genes. Genes are the components of what? Because I can be talking about you. You already you've already done genes in biology. What are genes? Because I can be huh? yes. It is red. They are found in the chromosomes, so they make up the human body. So if you alter them genetically, your hereditary features can be altered, yes? So advantages of uh, genetic engineering. Can prevent diseases. Can prevent diseases because if you implant the genes, that are deceased in people, plants, and animals with a, any hereditary disorder. It can make them what? It can prevent those diseases. Also, they they manipulate they manipulate plants to yield more. So they make plants yield more. If the genes are manipulated in plants, they are able to do what? To yield more. So they make plants to yield more. Number three, they are used in treatment of dwarfism. Those are very, very, very abnormally short people, yes? So they are able to restore their normal height. Number four, Genetic engineering increases the rate of maturity of livestock. Even today, not even when, when you're talking about livestock, we can talk about chicken, yes? You can get a whole, a full-grown chicken in how many weeks? Four weeks. Three to four weeks. We just have to alter them genetically. So it increases the rate of uh, maturity in livestock. It helps to determine biological parents. If there is a dispute in babies, who's the the real parent of the baby? Genetic engineering helps to determine the biologic the biological parent. It increases disease resistance, crops and animals. So through genetically engineering the plants and also animals, you can be able to increase disease resistance. So we grow crops that cannot be able to do, they, can, they are resistant to any diseases or animals which are resistant to any diseases. That's why we are saying it increases disease resistance, crops and animals. And uh, number seven, it assists in clarifying blood. You can be able to tell the blood group through genetic engineering. So it assists in clarifying blood during sc screening before it is transfused to what? To the first one. Disadvantages of uh, genetic engineering. Number one, it can introduce cancer-causing genes.
can introduce cancer causing gene can be misused uh, by scientists can be misused by scientists in that uh, they can be able to to, uh, to 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 alter any genetics for their own and beneficial research so that's why we are saying that it can be misused by scientists can interfere with ecological balances especially if it is um, it is used on um, to make uh, those uh, is it they are called what fertilizers it can cause environmental pollution so it can interfere with ecological balances or a crop that has been made resistant due to those chemicals that are being put there it can interfere with ecological balances by causing what environmental pollution and also it uh, can lead to coming up with artificial human beings. Remember when scientists are trying uh, genetic engineering, they were trying it is cloning. When you hear about cloning, making another human being looking like you. So it can come up with artificial human beings. Which is against God's commandment. Only God can create human beings. So, Christian's view on genetic engineering. What is the Christian view? Christians support genetic engineering that is beneficial. That is number one. Christians support that genetic engineering that is beneficial to human beings. For example, that, uh, that, that, causes, uh, that cures what? Diseases or that leads to production of uh, medical drugs which can help to prolong life. So it is supposed that genetic engineering that is beneficial to human beings. Those Christians who are against it is because you, all human beings are loved by God, whether they have defects or not. So you should not practice what? Genetic engineering. So all human beings were made in God's image and likeness, so they are all loved by, uh, by God. So all human beings are loved by God with or without what? Defects. So that's why some Christians are against it. Number three, also Christians are against it because the dignity of the human beings is eroded. Because now they've been altered. So we believe their dignity is lost. Number four, Christians oppose cloning and testing babies. Because all human beings should be what? Should be brought forth. As God ordered, procreation should only be given through birth. So, Christians oppose cloning and test your babies, which is genetic engineering. And uh, number five, it is against God's will and teaching.